Welcome to the third installment of how Ikigai is the key to this life's roller coaster, where we navigate life's twists, turns, and occasional loop de loops. Let's face it, adulting is basically trying to fold a fitted sheet in the dark. On this channel, we attempt to find the humor in self improvement because life's too short to take too seriously, and we're all just trying not to spill our coffee on the way to enlightenment. You've most likely come across endless amounts of self-help strategies, but have you ever really thought about what they mean for you and how to truly activate them in your life? Self-help is about more than just reading a book or attending a seminar. It's about taking the reins of your life and making conscious decisions that lead to personal growth and happiness. It's about reflecting on your habits, your relationships, your work-life balance and your overall well-being. It's about asking yourself, am I living the life I truly want to live? And if the answer is no, then what can you do to change that? It's about taking the time to slow down, to not fill your stomach to the brim, to surround yourself with good friends, to get in shape for your next birthday, to smile more, to reconnect with nature, and to give thanks for the good in your life. Now, let's delve into some of the most effective self-help strategies that can lead to a healthier, happier, and more fulfilled life. The first strategy is to stay active and postpone retirement as long as possible. Let's think about it. Many of the world's longest-lived people work well into their 80s and 90s or don't retire at all. Take Jane Burns, for instance, a centenarian who still works at a craft store in Ohio. She didn't wish for a grand party or a dream vacation on her 100th birthday. Instead, her wish was simple, to keep working. Now, why is this so important? Well, staying active and engaged in life not only keeps our minds sharp, but also gives us a sense of purpose. It gives us something to look forward to each day. It keeps us connected with our community, with the changing times and with our own evolving selves. So whether it is your professional work, a hobby or a passion project, stay involved, stay active. Remember, staying active in life can significantly improve your sense of well-being and satisfaction. Another crucial strategy is surrounding yourself with good friends. It's no secret that strong friendships enrich our lives. But did you know they can also lengthen them? The value of true companionship is immeasurable. Friends offer support, share laughter, and provide comfort in times of need. They challenge us, inspire us, and remind us of who we are at our core. A fascinating study from Harvard spanning over eight decades has shown that strong social connections can lead to a happier, healthier, and even longer life. In the far reaches of Okinawa, centenarians attribute their longevity to the robust bonds they've fostered in their tight-knit communities, where friendly competition in sports games and regular gatherings are the norm. In essence, friendship is not just about having fun. It's a significant part of our well-being. Good friends help us navigate through life's ups and downs, and they encourage us to be the best versions of ourselves. So cherish your friendships and foster strong bonds with those around you. Let's talk about the importance of physical fitness and a positive outlook. You see, our bodies are designed for movement and regular exercise is key to maintaining our physical health. It doesn't have to be a strenuous workout at the gym. Even simple activities like going for a walk or practicing daily movements can make a huge difference. But it's not just about physical fitness, it's also about our mental state. Maintaining a positive outlook is equally important. Smiling, for instance, is a simple yet powerful gesture. It not only makes us feel better, but it also influences those around us. A good laugh or even a simple smile can lighten the mood, relieve stress and even boost our immune system. So as we strive to live healthier and longer, let's not forget the simple things, to get in shape and to smile. Because at the end of the day, it's these small steps that make a big difference. So keep moving and wear a smile on your face. It's a great way to improve your life. Our next strategies are reconnecting with nature and expressing gratitude. Let's first dive into the wonders of nature. It's not just about taking a walk in the park. It's about fully immersing yourself in the beauty of the world around you, breathing in the fresh air, listening to the rustling leaves and feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin. This simple act can work wonders on your mood, boost your productivity and even enhance your memory. Now let's shift our focus to gratitude. 
Gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's about truly appreciating the good in your life, whether it's your loved ones, your achievements, or even the smallest joys of everyday life. Regularly expressing gratitude can lead to a more optimistic outlook, stronger relationships and overall better well-being. Remember, nature and gratitude can be powerful allies in your self-help journey. To sum up, self-help strategies are crucial for leading a healthy, happy and fulfilled life. The wisdom from centenarians, the world's longest lived people, offers a roadmap to longevity and satisfaction that's within everyone's grasp. Let's revisit our key takeaways. Staying active and postponing retirement keeps your mind sharp and your spirit lively. Emulate Jane Burns, the 100-year-old craft store employee who humorously wished to keep working after her centennial birthday. Don't rush through life. Instead, savour each moment and experience. By slowing down, you enrich your life with deeper meaning and purpose. Next, be mindful of your eating habits. Adopt the 80% rule and stop eating when you're 80% full. This practice not only aids in maintaining a healthy weight, but it also contributes to overall well-being. Surrounding yourself with good friends is not just fun. It's essential for longevity. Relationships provide emotional support, encourage healthy behaviours and add joy to life. Getting in shape isn't just about physical health, it's about mental well-being too. Engage in daily exercises, no matter how small, like the Radio Taizo movements practiced by Okinawa's oldest residents. Never forget to smile and appreciate the present. Recognize challenges, but also acknowledge the privilege of being in a world brimming with possibilities. Reconnect with nature. It's not a waste of time, but a way to boost your productivity, enhance your mood, and improve your memory. Express gratitude regularly. It's a powerful reminder of the good in your life. This can be towards your family, friends, or even yourself. Finally, live in the moment and discover your ikigai, your reason for being. This adds purpose to your life and can lead to increased happiness. Remember, the key to self-improvement lies within you. It's all about taking small steps every day towards a better you.